What's going on, you guys? We're back with another day. It's Sunday, fun day. Well, we'll see how much fun we can have today. It's gonna be a hot one out there. We had a crazy storm coming yesterday. Pushed some of the lawns back yesterday for today. So we're trying to get up a little bit earlier and go take care of these lawns. Um, keeping our eye on the prize, checking out a couple trailers, trying to uh, upgrade, get a little bit more uh, versatile with our with our lawn mowing setup. Pretty much uh, we're making it still work with HHR, you know. Green pal grinding, that's what we do. You know, to an extent, but we're gonna try to make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Uh, going to do another uh, customer that was, uh, could have been a one hit wonder, you know, one, one, one and done, but uh, they, they booked for a couple more mowings, so we are going to go back there and resurface their lawn, which I'm kind of happy because their grass is a little bit overgrown the last time we were there. And uh, it was, it was kind of big, you know what I mean? It really like make you think about, man, don't really want to tackle this, but you know, that's what we're here for. We're trying to make other people's lives a little bit easier and uh, grow our business. So we're gonna go take care of this, see how it looks, see how this rain has allowed it to grow or not grow. I know the front yard's good, but the backyard might still be a beast, but we'll see. All right, you guys, we're at our first house this morning. This is the one of the ones we did last week uh, where the, the, the grass is actually pretty good. Um, I really like the um, way the front front is. They, they've been taking care of that. You can t see because they got the little sign saying they got the grass people that come over there and like fertilize it, do all that crazy stuff. Back is a little crazy. I know it's probably gonna be a little bit wild back there, but um, I'll go ahead and take care of this lawn and make it look, make it look pristine. And get some good lines on there. All right, guys, we're gonna see how we can uh, throw some nice lines on his yard. Um, we'll be able to cut a little bit higher since he's a weekly. Um, we're gonna try making this thing really really pop. See if we can get some good lines with this new blade we got on there. So. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got done with our uh, first lawn of the day. Um, this is the one that was a little bit overgrown last week. You know, I felt like, oh man, this is uh, one of those lawns where uh, it's, you know, it's gonna be difficult. You know, probably put a lot of stress on the equipment and all that stuff, but it's no biggie. We put the side discharge shoe on the, the Wi Bravo and then knocked it down the first time. This time, the second time this week, we just uh, went ahead and uh, mulched it. So we, we put the mulch and plug in, with the new mulch and blades and stuff, and we went ahead and mulched uh, the residual stuff from last week and then still cut it down a little bit. Uh, the front yard, we took it down a little bit farther just so we could, uh, you know, just make it look a little bit cleaner and stuff like that because it was a little bit overgrown on the sidewalks and stuff like that. So we'll definitely um, hit this one up um, on the regular. I asked him if he'd like to get his um, hedges trimmed because we just got that new hedge trimmer so we're gonna try uh, utilizing that more. Trying to keep their hedges looking a little bit nicer. Try to um, get a little bit extra money on top of whatever we're selling them right now. So uh, we'll try this out. On to the next one. Yeah, we got the good good little bit of stuff going on right there. Nice, nice clean lines. I was a little iffy on that lawn last week when I first did it. But um, like I said, sometimes you got to jump on a little bit of the harder lawns because they seem to um, pay in the long run. I mean, if he can stay on a weekly, you know, that'd be awesome. But, you know, I know a lot of these people, you know, they're, you know, all, it's, it's all about money, you know. And if, I have no, no uh, hard time at all trying to, you know, do their lawn every single, you know, week. In fact, I would love to do that, you know, because I like um, being able to put my flare and touch on that lawn. But, um... I know sometimes it just gets a little hard for some people with uh, financially and stuff like that, trying to maintain that. But um, you know, if he wants to do it, and um, we're gonna keep on doing it and uh, knocking it out, making it look good, and um, maybe it's to allow us to start cutting his grass a little bit higher and really get those really good striping lines and stuff. So yeah, you know, it's not too bad. You know, if we can keep him weekly on that lawn, because. Uh, now that I got it under control, I want to keep it under control. That's the thing with um, a lot of these Green Pal lawns. Sometimes they call them the Green Pal Special, where you know they say, "Oh, it's just a little overgrown." You go over there, and it's like 15 inches overgrown. It's like ridiculous. But there's people out there that are knocking it out. I mean, if I was a major company, man, you freaking have them do a Green Pal so they can put the wear and tear on somebody else's account, and then you take it over and uh, keep it keep it looking pristine. But then again, the thing is is you got to be able to um take take care of these people and uh in the long run you know the green pal people they're looking for a good deal so if you take care of them they're going to take care of you so we'll see what happens with this one see if they stay on the weekly what's up you guys back again um we had to take a little break from uh our lawns today had my dad called me up said hey we're gonna um finish up on your shed 
course I'm trying to build a little bit of shed in the backyard just so I can have a little uh, more security put my equipment in and stuff like that so I ain't got to worry about um, people stealing my stuff you know did a pretty good job I actually took all the, um, the excess stuff from doing the concrete work at the house and uh, used it to frame this of course we had to get a little bit of extra stuff as you can see got framed pretty good nice little inside in here perfect of course I'm going to get it set up a little bit better you know um, just baby steps right now um, ideally want to make it big enough so if we do go with the, the big uh, the 36 inch stander round lawnmower we can probably get it and oh yeah I'm going to come back and hit my grass today it's a little bit longer which is okay so we'll take care of this and so now it's back onto the green pale grind Oh man, yeah, we got to start getting a little bit more efficient. Um, really looking at that trailer, possibly maybe getting um, a new a new truck or something like that. I'm really debating, you know I me, mean? because I, I love my car S3. So debating, I really don't want to trade it in, but we'll see if we can uh, do what we need to do to make our our stuff a little bit more efficient. Probably the trailer first. I don't know. We'll see what's up. All right, guys, we're at our second house of the day. We're about to bang this out. Um, it's one of my week bi-weeklies right now. Um, we're doing a pretty good job with it. We've gotten it uh, really under control from where it used to be. It was pretty much used to be grown all over the place and stuff like that. We're gonna see if we can um, see if we can start throwing uh, or get her some more uh, treatment on there. It takes care of some of these weeds and stuff like that. But one good thing about cutting the, the lawn high, it actually uh, helps shade out a lot of those weeds and stuff like that. Chokes them out a little bit. So let's see what we can get done with this lawn. All right, guys, we just got done completing this lawn. Second one of the day, we got it. Good to go, got some good little lines. We got this one kind of getting it under control a little bit. It's starting to um, really, really take off. You know, we're, we're cutting at a higher height just to allow to choke out the weeds and stuff like that. So it's coming along pretty good. One of my bigger yards, but you know, we're zipping through this on to the next one. All right, fellas, even though that we are nonstop green pal grinding, we still got to stop and take some time to take care of our own lawn because um, to me, that's like the business card, you know. If somebody uh, sees your yard, you know what I mean, they're gonna see how you take care of your yard. You know, you can take care of their yard like that too. I'm not like one of these people that make everybody else's stuff look good and then don't care about my own stuff because it ain't about that money. I'm about, you know, making yards look good. And um, like I said, we're gonna be cutting ours a little bit higher. I got the stripe kit I wanna put on, but I gotta redrill it because it's, it's not letting me go to my higher settings on lawnmower and I like to cut higher because that's the way I like to do because I cut more often. But as you see, we're still doing okay with our lawn here. Been a little bit of struggle. The backyard is it's kind of uh, super overgrown. So I'll go back over there and let you guys check that out. All right, you guys, we're here in the backyard. I'm about to check it out. Let's show you guys uh, how it's starting to look. Yeah, we gotta tackle this. It's, it's super high. My poor little weenie dog's having a hard time trying to get through here. It's been taken off. It should start pretty good back here. I'm a little excited to see how this is going to look. So we're going to um, we're going to clean it up. As you see, you got the little shed back there, making it, making everything pop, coming together. done for the day <clears throat> even though we're always out there green pale grinding we gotta stop and take uh, some time to take care of our house our own lawn <clears throat> got some nice little stripes we cut the back at a higher rate um, I want to get the front to start looking like the back I can really say uh, <clears throat> I got that new uh, getter blade on the, the Y Bravo and uh, at, a, at the higher rates man it's um it's kind of kicking butt on this uh, grass that's more, you know, thicker, but it seems like I'm a little iffy 
on some of the people's grass that I'm doing that has little weeds or stuff like that, kind of pushes it down and stuff. It's a little iffy on the, the cut, but when it's um, nice thick grass, yeah, it's um, it's, it's making the grass really pop off. I'm really, I'm really impressed with it on this lawnmower. So definitely um, doing a pretty good job so far. Let's go check out the front. All right, we got the front yard. It's um. Still, still iffy. We're gonna have to probably start treating for a little bit more weeds and stuff like that. Um, it's um, it's starting to come up. We're gonna try getting our grass here at a higher rate, just like in the backyard, because that's why I prefer I prefer cutting at the higher levels, especially out here in Oklahoma. And uh, honestly, it's um, it's looking pretty good so far. Got some good little stripes. I like change up every now and then. I definitely want to put my um, new striping kit on there, but I got to redrill the bracket to um, allow me to cut at the higher settings so I can stripe at the higher settings. But um, yeah, I can't I can't complain. Um, I think I'm really going to be looking at um, probably getting myself a truck here pretty soon because this is really starting to take off for me, and uh, it's kind of a hobby that's turned into a little bit of a side hustle. But you know, I I, I embrace the grind. You know, I work seven days a week out there on the base. Um, a lot of overtime and I'm still putting that overtime out here grinding on these lawns, you know, because the thing is, is a lot of these people enjoy the fact that I can come out there and really um, put in that effort to really make their lawn look good. And a lot of people like looking at my homepage and they see my lawn and they're like, man, you know, I picked you because I seen your, your grass. So that's what it is. You out there, take care of these people, man, let them take care of you and uh, build some clientele along the way. Until next next week, there ain't no next week, be back tomorrow grinding non-stop. <laughs>